Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you the basics of uh, Studio Strobe. This is an Alien B uh, B400, uh, the cheapest Studio Strobe by uh, Paul C. Buff. Uh, they make a variety of studio equipment, other light modifiers for these, and um, more powerful strobes as well. So I encourage you to check them out. Studio strobes are nice. They, they mount directly to the light stand. Unlike your speed light, it has a mount that goes directly in the light stand. And then they typically will be powered uh, directly by wall power. This is just a standard uh, 110 wall power supply. Uh, they also sell this Vagamon Mini. It's a, just a chargeable battery pack. Um, real handy if you're going on location with the Studio Strobe uh, power, portable power pack. So on the back here of <clears throat> the Studio Strobe, you can uh, power it on. And there's a switch here for the modeling lamp. That's this lamp here in the middle. The modeling lamp uh, is meant to just kind of give you an idea of what the flash is going to do when it triggers. It's not a full power representation, but it kind of gives you an idea of what the light is doing. And here you can see there's a slider where you can adjust the power of the flash. And then, most important here is a test button. You can fire the flash or dump the extra power. Now these are triggered a lot like uh, your speed light is if you have a speed light off camera. Uh, you just use a sync cable. This looks a lot like an audio cord. And that just plugs in here. You can plug the other end into a pocket wizard or other radio trigger. And put the other one on your camera hot shoe. And away you go. <clears throat> now, as far as lighting modifiers, these, these actually come with this silver reflector. If you're looking for a harsher light, you can use that, kind of a directional harsh light. Or there's a variety of other uh, lighting modifiers you can mount on here.